Google has just announced their latest model, which is now the best AI model for coding. And you can see here on Web Dev Arena Leaderboard, it is currently ranked number one. And you might be wondering, what is the difference? I don't understand. This is 2.5 Pro. Well, here's the major thing is simply the naming that they call this. So the original one, which I have access to at the moment, is the Pro Experimental, which you can see if you do have Gemini Advance. This is the current one that everyone has had for quite a few weeks. Now, they actually have released the Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, which is significantly different. And you can see here, I'm guessing this is the date of the release, which is basically just uh, two days ago or so. And you can see here the current arena score is 1,419, basically 1420 if you want to round it up. And that is significantly higher than the previous Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. And that is above the current Claude 3.7 Sonnet as well, and GPT 4.1, as well as the other competitors down here. Now, I will go ahead and show you how to actually access it right now to test it out for yourself. And also, I'll show you just some updates that they have regarding how much better it is. But one thing I will comment is when I did try to find 04 Mini High from ChatGPT, I did not notice it pop up anywhere. So it's either not part of this ranking at all or maybe it doesn't make the top but 04 mini high from ChatGPT is also quite good but i'm not too sure how much better it is compared to these top ones on the leaderboard right now so first of all let's just hop over to their blog and you can see here may 6 so i'm guessing the naming 0506 relates to the time of the release and at first i honestly didn't realize what the difference was either until i realized that the pro preview aka that specific word is the one that they are mentioning and they specifically state in the blog post that they were going to release this at their next google io in a couple weeks but they're like you know what let's just release it right now for people to test out and they state it has improved capabilities for coding especially building compelling interactive web apps so we're gonna find out if that's actually true but let's take a look at this current visual right here and it says it looks like there is this image of basically a leaf and it says transform this image into a code based representation of its natural behavior. And that's a coded part visual of a leaf moving, I'm guessing in the wind. And this is actually quite cool. Now, this isn't really super impressive to me since I have not compared this with other models, but I think it's pretty cool. However, this particular video, a little short 20 second clip, and basically what it's doing is it's showing the old Gemini 2.5 Pro, which I'm assuming this was the experimental one. And now the 2.5 Gemini Pro, the new version, which ideally would be the preview option, and visually, just the UI, I can already see the new version is significantly better than the old one. And also, it does look like in this video showcases a lot more details. So you can see here, it scrolls down and shows a lot more options in here. So I'm excited to actually try this out and see is this actually legit or not. So if you were to go to that blog post, you can access this on Google AI Studio. And you can see here, this is the uh, preview 5.6, so essentially May 6. And they also have the flash preview, which is interesting as well. So here, a little quick, if you want to pause the video, you can see the current cost, so input and outputs. And this looks like this is per 1 million tokens. And then you can see here the cost for the pro preview, which isn't that crazy, but it is definitely a little bit higher than the uh, flash, obviously. So. We can see here five requests per minute with 25 requests a day it looks like according to the rate limits so what we want to do is let's test this out with something that i'm familiar with which is front end coding and this time i already tested 2.5 pro before and according to google gemini's previous tests I voted that as my favorite for building a website with a simple prompt. I tried this with 04 Mini High, Claude, and the UI just wasn't the same as what I got from Google. So hopefully this new preview is better. We're about, we're about to find out, so let's go ahead and say, let's say this, right? 
code for a let's just make it very vague and see what happens so let's put websites and I'll just specify HTML CSS and JS for right now for simplicity's sake and let's say and make it about and let's see what should we create a, this website about I did ice cream shop last time I think this time I'm trying to think something more what's something more complicated to make about let's just do uh let's do something in rocket ships about rocket ships and space make it look luxurious and feel rich and the design very modern with updated ui elements and i'll just say some random stuff but ideally it's going to probably use pictures that we can't visually see i'll just say add special animations and effects and do whatever to make it look like it is the best website ever created and let's just go ahead and say run and let's see what we get from here hopefully this gives something i can put in my code editor and test out and let's go ahead and see so far the way it's moving it's thinking and one thing i've noticed with gemini 2.5 pro experimental is sometimes it'll respond and show the actual thoughts but other times it'll like keep it hidden and you have to hit the drop down menu so here we go we got some index html i can't really see too much in terms of the ui right now but i can kind of see the setup here and looks like we have some decent content okay i just saw something to do with like michelin i'm not even sure that's related to the design but let's see here so it did separate the code now this is one thing i do like now this is before the one thing i had an issue with gemini the previous model is they didn't put the copy clipboard option i don't know maybe this is just a google ai studio option but on like actual gemini if you type in something and more code you have to scroll all the way back up super annoying but with um chat gpt you don't have to do that so let's go ahead and i'll pull up the code editor and then we'll go ahead and test this out so first things first let's do index.html paste this in looks like we got a script.js and we have what 261 lines of code and then here is the styles.css and this one this doesn't look like Maybe there's a missing thing, we'll see. I do see some animation code in here though, which is quite interesting. And let's see, where in the world is the copy? Wow, this is a lot of actual CSS code. So now, let's see, what did they name it just before I make make sure I have it correctly, style. So let's do style.css. Let's paste this one in. And then I just need to make a script.js. And then let's go ahead and Let's see, is this a one prompt? They did add this. This is interesting. They commented out at CSS for particle and styles at CSS. Not too sure why that looks like it's commented out. Placeholders. Yeah, so let's go ahead. So it says here, create placeholders. So it looks like I have to add in a couple things. And then I'm assuming, uh, let's see here additional stuff so what's probably going to happen is we're going to uh I'm, i'll show you what happens it's probably going to be like blank with missing stuff but here add this to your style as if you uncommented particles this css here i'm not too sure why would they even add like uncommented or commented stuff if uh like yeah i'm not too sure about here but for now i'm going to assume this is not going to look that amazing and there's going to be a bunch of images not visible but let's see moment of truth wow okay that was actually pretty cool did you just see what happened oh this is beautiful oh yeah this is nice holy cow this is this is nice so if you don't code you might not understand what's happening I can already see the outline, the template. If you code, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like this is fire. Look at this. This is nice. So, so let me show people for who don't understand coding. 
all I need to do is add like a little logo, put some sort of like video over here. So what I'm gonna do, give me like five seconds, I'll go ahead and find all the images and then I'll come right back, update this, and you're gonna be like, holy cow, this is insane. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. So I just dragged in all the videos and images and I wanted to show you just in case you wanted to replicate this yourself is basically it showed the instructions on the uh, Google where you would place in the images. So for this example, these are SRC equals the name. So for example, how I just literally downloaded an image, dragged it into the code editor, and then I just rename it here. And now we have it here. Now, if you were to make a folder, for example, and you call this images, and then you were to drag in one of these images in here, then the SRC would be images slash the placeholder for that. But since we don't have that currently, let me just show you for an example, really quickly placeholder logo. If I were to drag it like this and I hit move, now this isn't gonna work. So now if I were to delete this, I'm gonna have to do images slash, and you can see now we have the placeholder there. So if you name this videos, name it A, B, C, D, Y, three, whatever you name it, it'll be that slash the thing. So regardless, that's just a little quick tutorial. If you want more help, feel free to see my other videos. But I finished naming all of these, replace all of the names here, and now take a look at the website. It's absolutely amazing. Refresh it for you. Igniting engines. Boom, I downloaded this image off ChatGPT. I made a little logo, added a video of some space galaxy stars moving, and you can see here, right now it's a little bit lagging because I'm recording and plus this video is like a 4K, but ideally you'd probably use a less I see a lower uh, size file and maybe something that's looping. This one doesn't loop. So you might see like a weird little static, but regardless, who cares about that? Look at this design. Scrolling down, look at these images. Come on, I pan picked all these just random to fill in to show you exactly what this looks like fully added. And then even here, dude, look at these. We got like a little bright glow animation. And Bro, if you don't understand how amazing this design is, you don't understand coding because one, this will take some time to even understand. Now I'm missing a little logo right here, which look, let's just show you how to fix that. So looks like we have this in the footer, I'm guessing. Right here, place white holder logo. So for this example, let's just take out the white parts. Let's just keep the same like this, keep it, save it. And let's go now, scroll down to the bottom, and there we go, logo is fixed. And you can change anything you want this text. This is, looks like there's a little issue here. Well, that's actually cool. Maybe I can like fade this out, but well, that's actually pretty cool, a little UI setup. I've actually haven't seen this style of design before. But yeah, this is pretty crazy. And again, this is all front end with literal one prompt. This is how amazing AI has gotten since then. So there obviously are like some light, slight tweaks on here that we could change up. But one thing I wanna do check is, is is mobile responsive. Oh my gosh, let's see. Holy cow, that's crazy. Look at this, fully responsive as well. Okay, maybe right here you might have to fix that, but still with one sentence, or not one, one paragraph I just typed and this website was created. So for people to understand, if you were to make this from scratch, this would take days, literal days, if you are starting out with coding and to even come up with a design, like the specific font, just the colors, the images, the titles, whatever you wanna name it. Some people can do this faster, obviously, but this is insane, guys. I, I don't even know what else to say. This is by far the best AI model for a UI aesthetic design is Gemini 215 Pro Preview. So this is exciting. Definitely can't wait to see what other models come out in the next few months. But so far, I currently rank this even better than the previous Gemini 215 Experimental. So this by far has been the greatest design website. And you could technically ship this out to someone who has a business or just needs a website. If they only need front end information, then this literally would work. Obviously the back end, you have to set up emails and stuff, but if they don't need any of this sort of data collection stuff, boom, you just got a website in literally seconds. So that is exciting. If you wanna see more updates on AI or even how to make websites yourself, 
just edit them, build them out. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And aside from that, like and subscribe for more videos.